Hello and welcome to one of several brief tutorial videos to acquaint you with the basics of fractured space. In this video we'll be looking at the very basics, control and UI. So first things first, you're going to want to choose a ship. Until you've earned some credits and unlocked more ships, you'd have three to choose from. The flagship, the hunter and the corvette. We'll be talking more about each of these ships in separate videos, but for now choose a ship, choose a server and jump into battle. You'll have a little wait before each match begins, so have a fly around and potentially change your ship to better fit your team. Fracture Space is very much a team game and you're going to want to make sure you're all on the same page and happy with the range of ships before the battle kicks off. Movement is WASD based, with your mouse reserved for moving the camera. The space bar can be used to ascend your craft, while the control key can be used to descend. If you fancy letting cruise control take over, perhaps while you use the chat features to chat with your team, you can use the C key to let the ship take control. In order to be most effective in battle, you're going to want to be making use of your targeting systems. To do this, hit the T key, which will lock onto an enemy. Control-wise, that should be all you need to know. Let's move on to talk about the UI then. There's a fair bit going on on screen, and it's a good idea to get to grips with it all nice and early on. You'll notice along the bottom of the screen you have all your abilities listed out. These vary from ship to ship, but there are some common traits. Your left mouse button, for example, is reserved for your primary weapon, and the 5 key is used to move between sectors. Pressing 5 will bring up your jump routes. From here, you can choose a destination and jump to it. Other abilities are mapped to keys 1 to 6, and to your right mouse button, but you're going to want to check each ship specifically to learn more on that. Your health can be found in the centre of the screen. If you're capturing any stations, you can see the progress of your capture on the right hand side of the screen here. The total amount of resources owned by each team is at the top of the screen, to either side of the sector information. Upgrade info lives in the top right, and this will alert you to head to one of the stations when you're ready to receive an upgrade. The bottom left of the screen is reserved for the chat box, allowing you to discuss tactics and converse with the rest of your team. Press enter to enter the chat box, and you can press control to switch between team and game-wide comms. The map is in the bottom right of the screen, showing who has control over what stations and sectors, and the location of other players in the game. A quick look at the map is a good judge of which team is dominant at that particular time, based on which colour is more prevalent. The objective in Fracture Space is to capture the enemy base. In order to do this, you'll need to capture forward stations and mining stations, fight for control of the map, and earn resources and upgrades so you're able to capture the enemy base at the other end of the map. We'll take a closer look at objective and game flow in a separate video, which you can also find in this tutorial playlist. And that's it really for the basics of battle. The best thing you can do to familiarise yourself with everything is simply to jump in and play. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in battle soon.